Good morning, everybody. Um, so I'm trying to get back in the habit of posting and editing, editing and posting regularly. Um, these are my new glasses. They actually came in yesterday at like five o'clock. My husband is super upset. Yeah, I record on my laptop, so you're seeing us right now. Anyways, um, here it is a week before mine. For some reason, his aren't here. But anyways, these are my new glasses, and they are really nice. Yes, I'm used to like big, thick black frames. Sort of wearing his the first time I had glasses and these are like a really um, kind of a muted cocoa um, cocoa and I guess because of the metallic it almost has a copper look to it and they're really nice which is not something quite I'm used to they're fitted which is amazing after having those for like a month and I'm actually going to get another pair in about a month um, I think they were guess they might have been guess or or I don't know, Ray-Ban, something. I'm one of those like, name brand ones because my insurance is going to like do this great thing. I tried something with my makeup today and I don't really think it's working. I think it looks okay. I just think it was like poor execution. It's kind of weird. But anyways, um, yesterday it was like I walked outside and apparently I have no observation skills. And my windows are closed um, because it was raining yesterday. And I did a lot of running around because I went ahead and went to a clinic because of the whole, like, I had taken medicine for the sinus infection, but it had, apparently these antibiotics were too strong, and I needed to get something else, because they killed all the good bacteria, it made me sick, and which is kind of crazy. But anyways, so I actually spent a lot of my day at um, the uh, walk-in clinic, you know, I got some medicine, hung out with the kids, doing the family thing, and... Yeah, and then I got my glasses and I like a whole bunch of coupons came in the mail. Okay, like that's only like a third of what's left in my water. But they were like primarily meal coupons, you know, like Burger King and um and so forth kind of coupons. And since my husband and my brother in law they're out when they work and yeah, they have money, but if they're both gonna get a number two, I might as well give them a coupon when they get buy one get one free number two and they have no problem with it they're not like oh my god it's a woman thing no they're like that's a money saving thing yes um kind of like get those all cut up for them and situated and then my actual coupon looks over there but anyway so a whole bunch came in so i was doing that yesterday and then we're kind of at the tail end of our monthly expenses so we don't have like a lot of meat it's like i can cook with that'll make sense for a meal you know i have like I sent three bus, but I'm not going to make it because I don't like it that much. And I have something else. I had like some, I have something else. Oh, and I have like a ham hock. I'm going to make, I'm going to make a big bowl of beans for everybody. I don't mind. I have a problem with rice and beans, but my husband hates it because I made him do it for like two months and he got really fat. I didn't get fat. He got like this cute, ooh, dope, it was like this little pudgy, like firm belly and, uh, he thinks he's so cute. He hates that because he's always like Mr. Fit and like sexy and manly and whatever. I, I think he looks great. So no rice and beans here. If I do, I have to like pour salsa in it and then like make a whole bunch of other food. Well, well anyways, um, so we're kind of at the tail end. So, you know, I had to kind of figure out what I was going to do for dinner, which became like a brenner where I made just a bunch of breakfast sausage and like eggs and potatoes and cheese and onions and I cooked it all together and I just put corn tortillas. My husband didn't like corn tortillas so I had to give him bread. But had, no, no, they didn't have any, I didn't buy any dog pepper for him so I guess it evens out that he never got pepper. Well anyways, um, so I never made it to the gym yesterday. I won't lie. See, look, I'm already putting it off. But, um, I'm going to go and do it today, and I'm, I'm just, I mean, I'm not going to go sign up or anything, but I'm going to go and check out these gyms and see what is something that I can afford, that I like, that I'm comfortable at, because school is going to be starting, and since I have my days off, um, my weekdays off when the kids are at school, that's when I'm probably going to be working out, and that's when I'm going to feel comfortable working out, too. I'm sorry. A little snifflitch. A lot less though than there was, right, guys? Uh, so that's about it. Oh, and I got this really, really cute umbrella. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. So here it is. I mean, I just loved it. And it was $5, I think. And it's just one of the ones that kind of like, I think they're called spider umbrellas, where 
when they come out, instead of like doing this, they kind of go, and they're almost like very flat, kind of like this. They're not like your traditional umbrella. But it's really cute. It's five dollars at um, ice cutters or harps. Uh, I've never heard of those until I moved here. I think they're right here in Missouri, Oklahoma. Uh, you know, I grew up on Walmart and H E B. Albertsons, but they didn't start with Albertsons when I was growing up, and my god, I wish I could have somewhere to have Albertsons, I'd be so happy. But I really like this, because it's, I mean, it's not a perfect match, but I've had this purse for probably like two or three years now, and I got it from Ross for like 20 bucks, and it's more on the green side, but I don't know, it's cute. It's like a, I don't know, these purses, that was a Steve Madden purse for 20 bucks, oh yeah. But, um, yeah, like, it's almost a perfect match, and I like it, because it's poppy without being an obnoxious thing, and, um, I am definitely, I enjoy the poppiness of stuff, I just don't feel confident enough to always do it, <clears throat> but, and I really would like to have a pink purse, but sometimes I just don't feel like I'm quite pink, I don't know, I don't actually, I, I mean, I love pink, actually, I love pink and yellow, and these kind of tealy aqua blues, but, um, you know, like I have his phone case. I had a white iPhone. My husband gave me, we switched carriers. My husband gave me his black one. So I wanted to buy a new one. And then he got a new one. And he got a white one. But I had, he had a white iPhone. He has a 5 though. And a 4. And so like I have this pink case, but it's kind of more of a, like a raspberry. And I like, it got next to like a cotton ball I had that had nail polish over And it like cracked. I don't know if you can see it. You really can't because I use a laptop camera. I don't have high quality, but it's like, it's like you got sunburn or it's peeling. Oh. But it's okay because I got this new case coming from Amazon and it's a slider case, which I've had before. Um, but I had it in red that um um um, um uh, a coworker when I was at IHOP, he had this, like he always had phone cases like all the time and he got a new one. He was like, We're gonna have this one because the new one he got was for me. and I really liked it because you can slide the bottom off. I think it's a slider case, and it, you know, has the full coverage, and I'm like, you don't have to, like, pop it on. I, I feel the fact that it slides on, that it's less likely to come off, because it kind of lo interlocks into itself, but I have one of those charging docks, where, like, you sit your phone up like this. I like, because instead of me taking a whole case off, I just slide the bottom off at night, and I can put it on the thing. I like, because in the middle of the night, if I want, I can just kind of, like, boop, take a time. That's my husband. But you can't see him like that. I'm going to do it like this. Okay. Because we were playing that harps game, which is the price cutters ways. It's kind of like the, the McDonald's Monopoly game. And one day I sent him with a bunch of them. He went and he got me them because he knows I was sick. Isn't he so cute? I love my cousin. He's like the cutest. But he got a whole bunch of them. He was just being adorable. I love my husband. He's so cute. Um, I don't know how the hell I'm going to He was because I dealt with a lot of crap because I had too. And I'm a butt head. So we'll work out. But anyway, so I got that umbrella. And I love my husband. Oh, and I need to go to the hardware store because I had bought a dowel for the kids' bedroom. Kids' bedroom. Beds. Bedroom. Um, basically as a cheap alternative to a curtain rod because they had blinds, but they're kids and they broke the little, like, the little, like, latches that kind of hold it in. They broke this part. So I was like, no. And so I just bought a dowel rod, and I got an old sheet that the kids liked. Um, you know, my daughter had, like, this pink satin, satin teen one from, she did not like her flat sheet from her bed, so I just made it into a curtain. Put over the dowel, and the boxes in hers weren't so broken, so I just put the dowel in her box. The box part that used to cover the blinds, and the boys were, like, super broken. So what I did is I actually went to Walmart and got the round things for shower curtains, which I've used a lot. That's what I use almost all the time if I need to clean up. Um... You know, like in our previous house, my daughter had the way her closet was set up, like there was a long row in the back, but there's room for the, like here, my jackets and stuff. So I got, I actually got the shower retention rod, which is a little bit thicker, a little sturdier, and I put the shower things like in her closet. She's been crazy. It was. But for the boys, I had to put the shower ones up, and I put me you on know, the dowel, but like I mismeasured the dowel and I cut it too short. And I try to like comment and add it back on and tape it and then it like gave away. I mean, it's like two bucks. I, I can, at the moment, I can afford two bucks for a doll. And the other one just kind of looks like a, I don't know, some kind of teaching stick. It's huge. It's like 40 inches. Anyways, that's about it. Oh, my dog, Gypsy, she, all the dogs in the kids' room right now. 
She is so close to having her babies. I don't know why she hasn't yet. Um, I never doubt it. She's so cute and so ready, though. It's a little piggy. I love her. But that's it. I'm going to go to the gym today. Or, you know, go and kind of inquire at some gym. I need to fill my gas tank today. I got a really cool umbrella yesterday. I went to the clinic yesterday. Got some antibiotics. Got these super awesome new glasses, which I'm going to go ahead and get another pair again soon. Doing some super awesome new makeup. That I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Y'all tell me what you think. Maybe I like it and just I don't know. My husband likes his glasses and he's like, You look more mature. I probably do, that's why I just I'm not used to it. But anyways, uh everybody have a great day and I will get back to y'all soon. And yeah, bye.